Hi, my name is Emiliano Gonzalez, and I am a very lucky guy. I come from a Latino family, and most of my relatives live in Mexico. Whenever I visit them, we do fun things, like play soccer, go to national parks, watch movies in Spanish, and do other awesome activities. Mexico is my favorite place to go because I can see my family and I get to experience another culture. But sometimes I take a closer look and I see other realities in the, of the country. I notice all the hard things that my cousins face in their lives because they didn't have the same opportunities as me and my family. They are not getting such a great education and they don't get all the clothes that they want and the phones that we have. My uncles and aunts have to work really hard to put food on the table for my cousins and it is very dangerous in parts of Mexico. My family lives in the city called Uruapan, in the state of Michoacan. In the past few years, there has been an increase in, of gangs and drug trafficking, which has resulted in many kidnappings. The gangs have become so big and powerful that the police have not been able to control them. And my family faces these dangers every day. When I was younger, my Uncle Polo in Mexico always told me that by going to such a great school as St. Matthew's, I had a wonderful opportunity. He wished his sons would have had the same chances as me. My uncle was a great man who was strong, smart, and really nice. He told me I needed to use my opportunities for good and to help others so that they could also go to great schools too. Once when we arrived in Rapan to visit my uncle, we found out he had gotten really sick and he was diagnosed with cancer. He fought and he fought to survive, but he sadly passed away. I still remember how sad I was. My younger brother Sammy told me that he wanted to find a cure for cancer, so no one else had to suffer. I believe Sammy and my Uncle Polo are right. We have to use our opportunities to help others and stop these types of bad things from happening. But sometimes, feeling so lucky puts a burden on me. I always have to be responsible and to use opportunity well, so I feel pressured to succeed. My other classmates also want to do well, and they want to work hard at school and feel stressed too but I don't think that it's as much of a burden for them. My parents are both really smart and work very hard. I am so grateful for the, everything they have given me. And I appreciate that they want me to have more opportunities than they had in their lives and to have a chance to choose a career that I love. If I fail in school, then I will have wasted these opportunities to grow and learn. I could still have a good life, but it would be harder. I always know this is true, but sometimes I just want to be a kid and not think about the future so much. My parents then remind me that I have to work hard in school. Because of this, sometimes I feel like I don't take school seriously enough. I will say to myself, I don't need to do my math homework, I'll just do it tomorrow. Or I'll goof around with my friends and not pay attention in class. I don't get perfect grades, and whenever I get bad ones, I feel very guilty, because I feel like I am wasting my opportunities. As you can see, this burden really feels heavy on me. So how did I get this wonderful chance to come to St. Matthew's? My mom is a nanny, and about 13 years ago, she took a vote care of a boy named Francis Schultz. He graduated from St. Matthew's in 2015. Because of my mom working with them, my family became really close friends with the Schultz family. Mario, my older brother, Sammy, and I all became very good friends with Francis. When I was in kindergarten, Francis' mom, Casey, told my mom about St. Matthew's. Then Mr. and Mrs. Schultz helped me through the admissions process. I entered St. Matthews in first grade. I was very scared to go to the new school and make new friends. I remember when my mom dropped me off and I started to cry, but then Miss Yap told me I was going to be okay. And she told me where I was going to sit. I kept crying, but Catherine then comforted me and I stopped because I thought she was really nice and she still is. Later, I became really good friends with Tristan, Ellie and Gavin and the rest of the boys. From the first day, I felt accepted and welcomed at this school, even though I felt so lucky and so much responsibility at, at this school. I know I'm not the only kid ever to feel this way. This year, for our 8th grade service project, we are partnering with an organization that helps kids in India get an education. We watched a movie about a girl whose parents made sacrifices for her to get to go to school. But sometimes she drew, math, she drew pictures in her math notebook, instead of paying attention to the teacher. Instead of getting angry, her father spent his hard-earned money to buy her art supplies. And I know that in the same way, my parents know I just need to be a kid sometimes. As part of the eighth grade pro project, we learned how an education really makes a difference in a person's life. 
making their family healthier and safer, but also how when a lot of people go to school, helps a whole country to grow out of poverty. When a girl goes to school, her children are twice as likely to go to school, too. This is just like what my Uncle Polo said, that with an education, we should help to make sure other people get an education, too. And the lesson that Alex read for us, we hear about how God helps Daniel to get an education. Later, Daniel will face trials and burdens because he remains faithful to God and refuses to worship the king or give up praying. But in the end, Daniel's education allows him to help God's people. So now you see why I said I'm a lucky guy, and hopefully you realize how lucky you are too. I believe all of us students should be grateful for the education that our parents are working hard to give us. We need to use this opportunity wisely, even though we also sometimes just need to be kids without worrying about the future, or to color pictures all over our math notebooks. If we appreciate how lucky we are now, then we will remember how important it is to help others. We will remember how our education is not just a gift for ourselves, but as my Uncle Polo said, something we have to use to help others. Just like the Scholz family helped me have this great opportunity of coming to St. Matthews. I want to help other kids get a great education. What about you? How will you use this gift you've been given to make the world better? Thank you.